So, hey, Dwayne, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it's you being be here. here with us. And uh, had a question that I uh, want you to think if, if you were, uh, you have children, right? I do. And so if you took your children to, they're in ball practice or recital or whatever, and as you're walking out, you're going back to your car, everything's all done, you're ready to go home. Somebody comes up to you, you don't know them very well, but they know you a little bit, you know them. And they, they ask you this question. They say, uh, if two people love each other, um, is it really wrong for them to live together if they're not married? But what might you say to somebody like that in that situation? Okay. To, to generate some discussion or even possible more study. Okay. I would say that it's important that we go back to find out what God says about living together, if that's his plan or not. Mm -hmm. And so uh, from experience and from what the scripture says, that God expects commitment. He expects us to be committed to him and he expects us to be committed to the person we're going to spend the rest of our life with. And so if we're not willing to follow his instructions on marriage, which I'd be glad to talk to you more about that at some other, some other time, then we can't really expect him to bless that relationship. So God has a great plan in store for us. And the plan is for a man and woman to be committed to one another as they're committed to him. And that commitment will help them enjoy fully the blessings of that relationship that they cannot enjoy fully without having that commitment to God. And so uh, that's where I would suggest that uh, we go with that. And I'd be glad to sh share with you what God says about that, our own personal experience in marriage and the people that we know. So we have a lot of advice that we can give along those lines. So, so when people just kind of trash the idea of, a, you have to have a piece of paper, is that what you're claiming? Um, you're, you're saying there's a whole lot more behind it then than just the piece of paper. Yes, yes. God is the one that puts us together, binds us together in, in marriage. And so we make that commitment before, before him. And it's, it's the commitment is what makes one of the things that make the marriage such a blessing. Sometimes people want to, want to talk about how the lifelong commitment to marriage is like a ball and chain. It's something to hold you back. But it's not. It's really the, the greatest blessing God has given us to know that we're going to be with this person through the good times, the bad times. We're committed to God together. We're going to face life's blessings together, challenges together. So I would say if you're not committed before God, you're missing out on one of the great blessings God has in store for you in that married relationship. So don't think of commitment or don't think of the, the longevity of that commitment as a negative. That is a positive. It gives you so much comfort and allows you to have enjoy the relationship so much more than if you never know what's going to happen next or if you're going to be with this person okay. that you're with uh, for, for a long period of time. So don't buy into the world's philosophy that the long-term commitment is to hold you back. God gave us that long-term commitment to help us and make marriage better. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Appreciate you, you being with us tonight. I appreciate it. Thanks.